One of the problems uh, with his pacing is that the tools are very limited in terms of what you can do with them when you get down near the hiss. One way to create something uh, that might be useful uh, is to modify an existing sheath that would take you in the general direction. So if you take the standard Worley sheath, it's too long, but if you cut off eight centimeters, you can preserve uh, the hemostatic properties uh, by putting a drop of dermabond uh, on there after you cut it off, and then you can force fit uh, an 11 French hemostatic peel away type sheath uh, to create this type of a sheath. Now, this may or may, or may not take you to where you want to get to, but you can also uh, continue to modify it uh, by cutting off the tip here or here, but in general it would take you in, in, the, uh, in, in the direction you wanted to go. Uh, another option uh, for even bigger hearts would be to modify the jumbo curve of the whirly sheath uh, in a similar fashion. The other thing that you could consider uh, is to take one of the existing um, lateral vein introducers that are made by Merit um, and sh again they're too long as they are manufactured but you could create a shorter, ver a shorter version with the hemostatic properties uh, by cutting off uh, the end of the sheath end of the LBI. Uh, again, a, a little drop of dermabond here if you feel it's necessary, and then slide the uh, a hemostatic six French sheath over the outside of the sheath here. Uh, if you were trying to, and then what you would end up with uh, would be something that looked like this. It's where you have now the hemostatic properties preserved in a shorter version. And there are, as you know, there are four different shapes of the uh, lateral vein introducers. I'm, I don't know what shape would work best. I'm thinking the hook might, but there's also the renal um, and the hockey stick that you could try. In any event, that would give you some different options to play around with. Um, and you could move this in and out of the, of the whirly sheath, the shortened whirly sheath, and give you better control in the area of the hiss. Now, if you're trying to use a standard size lead, you could use one of the nine French uh, LVIs and modify it uh, using a larger hemostatic uh, valve after you cut off the nine French version of the LVI. I hope you find this useful. Let me know what you think. Uh, as you know, I'm on Twitter and other social media. It'll be interesting to know how these things are working for you.